Mom and Dad. We stopped for lunch, so I got us in my first postcard home. I miss you already, but I've made some great new friends right here on the bus. You were right. It is so beautiful in the mountain, and I can't wait to get to Camp Tanglefoot. I love you, Sarah. Tiny Tim to Baggy Bridges. You got your ears on, Baggy? Hey, Tiny Tim, this is Baggy Bridges. Over. Well, barring any squirrel or chipmunk crossings, uh, I'd say our ETA is approximately 12 minutes and 46 seconds. <laughs> Roger, I'm on my way. Much obliged. The supply shed has a roof leak, the corral needs a new latch, and I need a new coffee pot. Well, I'll get Gil right on it. I believe he's all healed up now. <laughs> Mr. Meany called. That man needs a good pipe cleaning. Well, I'm in too good a mood to worry about that cranky old toad. Get that piece of junk off the road! Ah, Tiger your foot! Have you seen my goggles? Well, I don't know, Teresa, where your goggles have gone. But I sure hope you find them. And it don't take too long. <laughs> you are one log short of a campfire, aren't you, dear? Oh, you know me when new campers are arriving. It's like I'm a kid again. <laughs> kind of like when you and I and Timmy and Gil, we all got the Camp Tanglefoot bus for the first time. Do you remember that? How can I forget? It's when we first met. I know, and now I have you in my life. And I'm all grown up and I'm doing everything I ever dreamed of doing. Well, that's what makes you so good at what you do. You are the king of the camp directors. Ugh, gross! I'm Sarah, what's your name? Gregory. But I wish I was Martin McGuire. Check out the doughboy. <laughs> Ooh, the bus is tilting. <laughs> I can't wait to see Emily. I get such a kick out of those two. They've been like peas in a pod every summer since they were itty bitty things. I oh, know. And now they're biggie things. <laughs> Lame, Dad. Oh, yeah, they're here! I wish that child would cheer up. You are a very strange man, Mr. Russell. Well, you say that like it's a bad thing. Everybody's happy. It's Tanglefoot Dad. Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey, Dad! Oh. Uh, sorry, Mr. Meany. Uh, clean your sign. I'll clean your clock. And it says for Russell. You can tell him I said so. I already cleaned it, clock. She was sticking. It's the number two jeweler's tool. Works like a charm. Tick tock. <laughs> oh. Joe Boy, let's move it! I bet you if there's a bucket of whipped cream outside, he'd fly out of here. <laughs> Emily! Jenny! Yes! Ooh, I have so much to tell you! Me too! Come on, Melissa! 
I'll show you where the cabins are. Your friend Allison's probably already here. Okay. <laughs> Jenny, doll, are you coming or what? Yeah. Hey, Gweg Wessel! Gweg Wayne! Gweg, this is Sarah. Fair Lady Sarah, welcome to the kingdom of Tefa. He thinks he's so one so what? This is Jack. He's quite a game boy. Oh, really? What's your highest score on mutant two-headed lizards from Mars? 560,000. Rats. Watch it. Hey. Sport model, welcome to Tanglefoot. When do we eat? 1,800 hours. Not 1,800 hours. That's 75 days. I'll starve. I'll wait away. Kids will start calling me Slim. <laughs> I like his help. <laughs> you would. It's going to be the longest three weeks of my life. <laughs> I'll show you your cabins. You might have your hands full with that boy. Aw, oh, he'll be all right. All he needs is a couple of days of fun in the Camp Tanglefoot sun. Oh, great. Then he'll have an attitude and a tan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go, you guys. We got lots to do. Well, hey, guys. My TD, I'm your counselor. We got a ton of great stuff planned for this week, not to mention a killer water skiing trip. Yeah! The best part of being a Tangler? Lots of new friends. So grab a and hasta la vista, baby. Hey, he's bilingual. Are we there yet? Don't Are even think about taking the top. My name is Jack. Bet X more like it. Hey, that's original. Better yet, how about Jumbo Jack? <laughs> or Eagly Jack? Hey, what about Chucky Jack? Watch your bet, boy. I got my own you. Only when I better use both. You want to get the whole picture? <laughs> I can't find Mom's molasses. Is that all? I thought you were something important. Like your mind. Look, son, you don't understand. If I don't find my molasses, I can't make my super duper deluxe Tanglefoot cookies. <laughs> Gil, what's up? Hey, Tanglers! Gil's the name. Fixin's my game. You're using molasses to fix a roof? Absolutely. In terms of bonding composition, Molasses possesses perfect adhesive properties for stopping cheeks. Really? You ever hear of a tangle foot cookie crumbling? Not really. The miracle of molasses. And if molasses can prevent crumblage, it certainly can prevent roof leakage. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty. Ew. Nothing edible adhesive. <laughs> Here. What's this for? For being my best friend. Cool. Listen up. Welcome to Cabin 12, ladies. I'm Rachel, your counselor. We've got tons of activities, including the big water skiing trip this week. This is Miss You Guys. And we're up for the cap skits tonight. Tonight? We're not ready. I hate skipping. I am like totally without talent. You're a really good painter. How do you know that? Oh, that's good. We'll just all stand up there in front of the whole camp and I'll paint. Not too pathetic. <laughs> Don't worry. I signed Emily and me up for a duet. You what? Hey, Wismo. I had a feeling I might find you down here. You get a water feelings, don't you? Huh, now that you mention I guess I do. It's a mighty inviting lake out there. You gonna take the big leap off the tower this year? I don't know. Maybe. Well, there's no hurry. You ready? You ready? Listen, I gotta go to the office. I'll see you later.
the best voice in the universe, and I don't. Emily, you have a great voice. <laughs> no way I would sing. Which is good, because I've heard you sing. That's my point. Have you tried singing in front of people? In the choir. But it's different. Yeah, because we're totally faking it. Emily, don't be such a chicken. Jenny, I mean, you like made the decision for everyone. I have an idea. You do, and I'll sit next to Titi, because he's like totally cute, and I have dibs. It'll be fun. Are you my best friend or what? I'm not doing it. So just forget it. Chill, Emily. What's the big deal? You just want me to get up there and sing so I'll look like a total doof. I'm not doing it. Come on, guys. Yeah. Well, that nips this up. What are we talking about? Millions. As your accountant, I suggest you sell Camp Tanglefoot immediately. We can build tank front lodges and a ski slope by next winter. I like what I'm hearing. I got Tanglefoot online, sir. Camp Tanglefoot? It's me. Put Russell on phone. Hold on. It's that thing that lives under the bridge. Hey, Mr. Meany. No Meany, me, Russell. You just have that fun in port ready when I get there tomorrow. I'm a busy man. I got to do. Like what? Pluck his eyebrows with a pair of pliers? Don't sugarcoat it there, Miss Maybell. How do you really feel about Mr. Meany? Oh. God for good food every day. Thank you, God, for teaching us the Tanglefoot way. Amen. What'd you do to it? Moi? Nothing. Honest. Ah, oh, Cam. Yeah, the best. <laughs> Carlos, get back here. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, that Lewis Banyan's a pistol, all right. And I'm afraid Jack's ended up being his target. Aren't they bunking together? Yeah, they are. And Lewis hates Jack more than my nose hates my Aunt Toosie's feet. <laughs> hey, Timmy, we're going to have your super deluxe Camp Tanglefoot cookies tomorrow, aren't we? You think so? Well, I can't make them without molasses, and I can't find my mom's molasses. Summer camp. Bummer camp. I I'm stuck here with a bunch of losers. Yeah. Speaking of losers. No, you're not gonna let him get away with what he said before. Just gonna be sorry you ever came here. Howdy, partners! Mind if I join ya? Kills the name. Handy man's a game. Let's see, uh, Jeff, Mark, and uh, Lewis, right? We don't eat with freaks. Oh, we got some in common then. Neither do I. <laughs> Fast eaters. I can't believe he did that. He put the hot sauce on the pizza. I, did you see TV run? Did you see Carlos run? That hurt, Lewis. You're mine. Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, Tim, we gotta get a towel. Whoa. Here, good. Here, not good. So, how do you like Tanglefoot so far, Jack? Moist, but awesome. <laughs> Glad to hear it. 
By the way, I wouldn't pay any mind to anything Lewis has to say. Believe me, I don't. Oh, good for you. You know, this might come as a surprise to you, but when I was a tangler, I had a slight weight problem myself. I don't think there's one fat joke that I haven't heard. You're so fat you have your own zip code? Or you're so fat when you stand on a scale that says, one at a time, please. <laughs> or you're so fat when you go to the beach, people start pushing you back in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I had your attitude when I was your age. But big guys is all. I don't. It's who we are. Besides, my mom says God loves all of us. With us, there's just more to <laughs> Such a cheese ball. Okay, let's hear it. She doesn't my best friend anymore. She's always with Melissa. Maybe she's trying to with Melissa because it's her first time at camp. But Allison's her best friend. So you're feeling sad? Maybe just a little bit jealous? I guess. Well, do you think that Emily has enough for her two friends? Because I know you do. And our next act in tonight's talent show is the Lice Girls. Oh, what do you what I need? Mean, what I really, really need? Oh, what do you what I need? Mean, what I really, really need? Yo, tell us what you need. What you really need? Yo, tell us what you need. What you really, really need? I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need <laughs> and now, representing Girls Cabin 12, give it up for Rachel and Jenny. Let's hear it for them. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that tonight like the Lice Girls. Our dynamic duo, Rachel and Jenny. And we always like to welcome the new here at Camp Tanglefoot. How about a big hand for Melissa, our official Austin residence. It wasn't that boring. We loved watching you paint. Oh, my feet got all the... And proud of it, too. Here at Camp Tanglefoot, we think that tripping and tangling and making makes is all a part of who we are. Each and every one of you. 
is unique and incredibly wonderful. And we also believe that each and every one of you can be and do anything that you want to do because all of you are one of God's most special creations. Now and then you feel so small when there are mountains in your way you can rise above it all if you have a little faith just don't give up no don't give in and always give it one more try cause if you can dream it you can do it yes you can be anything no matter who are. Just listen to the heart, that's the place to start. Cause if you can dream it, you can do it. Oh, if you can dream it, you can do it. And here at Tanglefoot, we believe that's true. Yes, indeed we do. guys. Good night. See you in the morning. repairs for you know who oh, I just wish there was some way to reason with mr. Meany <laughs> every summer it's like he enjoys torturing us by threatening to sell Tanglefoot what we need is a 99 year lease that way we'd still be around long after he's rotting away in the ground with worms in his eyeballs and maggots crawling out his nose Miss Maybell, his, would you like his bones crumbling and his hair all matted and nasty and skin dried up and falling off the worms crawl in the worms crawl out the worms crawl in and all about Jenny what what are you doing nothing so you still mad at me you're mad no, sir, you! 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 Mm. Mm, you can be such a doof! You're the doof! I learned it from you! <laughs> Stop, please. Oh, I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Mini Lake is really cold. Mini Lake is really cold. Hey, you guys ready to rock and roll? Yeah! yeah. Hey, rock on, Louie. Get it? Your history. <laughs> Yo, TD, I got the new Swinger Head CD. It's totally awesome. You were right, man. Yeah, yeah, I gave a copy to Miss Maybell. She's been cranking. I bet. So, Craig, is today the big day? Shh, nobody's supposed to know. Don't worry, I haven't said anything. I haven't decided if I'm jumping or not, so don't say anything, okay? I don't want the others to think I'm scared. I promise. <laughs> thinking about jumping off the tower. Are you, dude? Well... Oh, it's just in the water and there's no way I'm going back. Why not? Why not? Water snake. That's why not. Long, slimy, this big, with humongous fangs. Oh, no! Look! Look! Look!
Hey, Mr. Meany, <laughs> I see you already met Samson. Oh, don't start. Let's get on with it, Russell. Come on in. We're off to a good start. You don't do a lot of work around here, do you, Russell? Carlos. <laughs> Pitiful. I'd be better off bulldozing this place and starting over. A new camp, Mr. Meany? That'd be wonderful. Camp? No camp. I'm talking timeshare resort, hot tubs, ski lifts, and no kids. You have no idea how valuable this land is. Oh, but I do. It's priceless. Mr. Meany, your family has owned this camp for almost 50 years. There's an end to everything, Ms. Russell, including my patience with this dilapidated money pit. Mr. Meany, Camp Tanglefoot has changed a lot of people's lives. Too bad. At the end of summer, Tanglefoot comes down and Meany Resorts goes up. Just spying, eh? We could have used you back in a big war. Oh, you were in World War II? Which side? Do not go in there. What's going on? What happened to your face? Hey, yeah, you look like you kissed a cactus. Bees, hundreds of them. I might have disturbed the herd. I think one of them stung me. Well, how did they get into the shed? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, it's just a preliminary hypothesis, but there is a remote possibility that the bees were attracted to the roof adhesive. What roof adhesive? Uh, the one I used to fix the leak. What do you use? Uh, molasses. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch all that. Molasses. Mol Gilmore! Oh, sorry, there's still some left! Are you skinny little? Oh, your how am I going to get through to this Lewis kid? And how am I going to save Tanglefoot? Hey, Samson. I'm the one with all the problems. So how come you're the one with the long face? Come on, Sam. Hey there, Sprocket. How you doing, big guy? Hey, buddy. It's okay. I'm never jumping. Sure you will. If I do, I'll get eaten by snakes. You're not gonna get eaten by snakes. You're just a little scared. Heck, that's natural. Everybody's scared of something. You're not. You're not afraid of anything. Guess again. When I was a little kid, I was scared of girls. And if a cute little girl like Sarah ever talked to me, I'd turn into like a zombie. That's okay, Greg. Not all of us can be chick magnets. Believe me, it's a curse. <laughs> you crack me up. But you know what? I still get scared of things sometimes. Like, do you remember the story of David and Goliath? Of course. David was the shepherd boy who killed the nasty giant Goliath with the swing shot. That's right. And you know, somebody had to go fight Goliath. But everybody was too afraid. Except for little David. He stepped up and he said he'd give it a try. But everybody laughed. David believed in himself. And he trusted God to be there for him. And you know how that story turned out. Well. The way I figure it, this jumping off the tower business, the tower is your Goliath. Yeah? Yeah. And you're a good swimmer, right? Yeah, real good. I know. And just like when you go swimming, you believe in yourself and you trust God. And you just jump in and everything is okay. When you're ready, you're ready. Cool? Cool. Good job up there. You make that look pretty easy. It's no big deal. Well, sure it is. Not just everybody can do that. Probably well, because they're weak. Is that what you think? You mind if I ask you a question, Lewis? It's your camp. 
Why haven't you been participating in any of the group? My dad peed out, but I can do whatever I want. Anyway, what do you care? Well, believe it or not. But in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. So remember, this summer, or any summer, and every summer, go to camp. And remember the great people that you meet, and the life-changing experiences and decisions that you make there. From one camper to another, I'm looking forward to seeing you this summer. So long.
There's Greg and Teresa and Timmy, the cook. There's little Sarah and Craig, a smart little tot. He said Greg Russell thought he was Sir Wansawat. Jenny and Emily were best of friends. Jack fought with Lewis, but they got along in the end. There's Carlos, he plays pranks all over the place. I was in the movie too, I got bee stings on my face. Yeah, they're not real bee stings. They're just makeup on that. I couldn't decide if I should dance in the show, so I asked the campers. They said, go, go, go. I'm a good swimmer. I just have to remember. Trust in God. Trust in God. You told us to God. You said my name. God knows your name. Our director's Greg Russell. Can't get enough of him. He sings, he's funny, and the kids all love him. He believes in God, he believes in us, and he believes in me too, but I still can't drive the bus. The days are really fun because there's a million things to do, like hiking or volleyball or out in a canoe. I went head first down the water slide that dumped you in the lake. Ends up I lost my swimming trunks, but that's a chance you take. Yeah, I had to stay in the lake about four hours till everyone left. Two cabins do a talent show every single night. Then we have a sing-along by the campfire light. Sometimes Greg tells stories that are really, really scary, like one about the 10-foot guy who's super gross and hairy. I think he made that one up. Yeah, summers are definitely my favorite time of year. You should come and check it out and be a camper here. You might learn a lesson as time quickly passes. I learned my lesson. Don't take Timmy's molasses.